Hi, my name is Christoph. Welcome to the Quick Citry Workshop. Today I've got something very interesting. Um, this is a machine that I've built a couple of years ago and I'm, I'm still using it uh, in my workshop daily. Um, it's called uh, a Brown's Gas Generator, also known as a Hydrogen Oxygen Generator or HHO Generator. Sit back and enjoy the video. For a little bit of history, in the 1800s, an English scientist, William Nicholson, an inventor, patent agent and civil engineer, was the first, as far as we know, to decompose water into hydrogen and oxygen via ele electrolysis. In the mid-1960s, William A. Rhodes from U the USA was the first known inventor to patent the electrolyzer that produced this gas, the so-called Brown's gas or HHO. Oxyhydrogen is also known as Brown's gas and this term is named after Yul Brown. That was not his real name, his real name is Ilya Volkov. He was a Bulgarian inventor who first patented two producers of oxyhydrogen in 1977. Other names for HHO is dihydroxy, green gas, water gas or canal gas. Brown's gas is a mixture of the elements of water in the same proportions as water, hydrogen and oxygen, mixed at a 2 to 1 ratio. An electric current is used to separate and dissociate the molecules of the water, allowing the hydrogen and oxygen to act independently of each other. Brown's gas can burn at a rate of 241.8 kilojoules of energy. It can reach temperatures of up to 2,800 degrees Celsius. When the molecules are in their proper ratio and producing their own energy, ignition is enough to keep the gas burning and can reach a level 3.8 times higher than normal oxygen hydrogen flame. Basically inside this box is a, a device that converts electricity into electrolysis and breaks down water, ordinary tap water, into the two components, uh, namely hydrogen and oxygen which as you can guess is very flammable so actually it's a water burning machine and what I want to do in this video I want to tear down this uh, machine uh, and rebuild it um, there's, there's some uh, things that I want to fix um, and in the process also show you how it works and how you can, if you are interested, build one for yourself. So when this machine is turned on, uh, the fan, the cooling fan is automatically on. That's what you're hearing. It's just a little cooling fan. But as soon as I switch on uh, this knob here, what happens is something happens inside and you'll see a bubble starting to form here. There. And I can adjust the amount of electricity that I can do. I, don't, I never want this tower of bubbles to go up to the top because then it starts to go into into the pipe and it and the and the um, the water comes into the the nozzle and it gives problems. So there's gas coming out which is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. The water is being broken up into the two components. And if I light, if I light this, 
and you can see there's a there's a flame and this flame is extremely hot I'll take this little um, uh, piece of wire and you'll see almost immediately it melts it So, we just tune it down a little bit. So let's melt some some stuff. There's a there's a, a meter. It's one of the things I want to change. I want to move that that meter because when I work on the machine, I want to be able to control it here but also at the same time see what is how much amps it's drawing so you can see there is a ammeter and it shows you exactly how much amps I'm pulling so it will take quite a while to heat up this whole chunk of metal um, but you can see that it very quickly comes to a point where where you would be able to braze or solder, solder, solder this. A little bit of thinner metal. See there, it's very quickly. This is about three millimeter piece of steel, and there it's melting point. You can actually weld these two together. It won't be a strong weld, there's oxidation, but nevertheless, it's interesting. And for the very fine small work, um, I'm talking about if you want to weld very, very, uh, or solder very, very small parts and have focused heat on one spot, I've got this small version that I built. It uses a 12 volt battery. I'm going to show you, I'll switch it on and then. You, you can see immediately there'll be bubbles there as the gas is being produced in this bottle and then it goes from here uh, it goes from this uh, big bottle into the small smaller bottle and this is just a safety device and also so you can see how the the gas is being produced <clears throat> And then from there it goes through this little thing that it's just to take uh, moisture out and from there it goes into this small torch. I'm going to light this, this flame. And although it's very hard to see with your with your naked eye, it's it's a very small flame. But you'll notice as soon as I come close to the paper, paper starts burning, and you can more or less guess how far the heat, how long this flame is. You can see it's about four centimeters long, where the tip of the the heat is pro being produced. But the focus point of this 
flame is very 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 hot right there at the tip if I bring it close to the this piece of wire and you can actually very faintly see there it's melting and this small flame is is hot enough it will melt this So the other thing that you can do with this small flame is you can draw if you're very fast you can draw on paper or you can burn images out on a piece of wood instead of using a soldering iron So if you want to know how to build this this small HHO generator, um, then the link uh, is in the description where you can download a free file of uh, instructions how to build this. So back to the bigger machine, I'm going to take the cover off and you can see what is inside. So basically, what you see here is this bottom, uh, there's two tubes at the bottom, which is called electrolyzers, and then there's a, a top reservoir, it's just an empty container for, the, for, for having the water there, and everything is connected with, with uh, these hoses. This is a ammeter to show how much current is being drawn and some electronics on the other side. <clears throat> and what I want to do basically is dismantle this and replace the wood with, with plastic. Um, the wood wasn't the, the best solution that I had. I also want to change some of these uh, nipples that I used to plastic ones instead of brass ones because there is a, a, a very alkaline solution um, potassium hydroxide uh, is mixed with the water to make the water uh, more conductive and to make the process of the breaking up of the water into hydrogen and oxygen more efficient um, <clears throat> And this is eating uh, the brass. So there's some improvements that I make. This was a prototype. And um, then I'll have the, the plans to make this available um, in, uh, towards the end of this uh, little mini-series about this hydrogen-oxygen generator. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to drain all the electrolyte out of the machine and um, using this pipe to do so. So I'm just going to remove this. Stop 
12. And I'm going to put this I'll have the, the plans to make this available um, in, uh, towards the end of this uh, little mini-series about this hydrogen-oxygen generator. That's all we have uh, time for this week. Uh, I'll, I'll start taking this apart. Next, um, next week you'll see how I dismantle this whole thing. And then uh, maybe a third video will be me putting it back together again. Please subscribe and leave that like button. It, uh, it will really help the algorithm in my favor. And also activate the bell so that you are updated whenever I upload a new video. Have a great week.